Welcome back to Storytime Sessions. I'm Katherine Gallagher, Superintendent for Lamoille North Supervisory Union, and I'm so glad that you are with me for this reading. Today we're going to read Albert's Tree by Jenny Desmond. Spring arrived, and Albert woke from his long sleep. Hooray, he shouted. As the snow was quietly turning to water and trickling down from the mountains, Albert raced to his favorite place, his tree. Hello, tree, shouted Albert. I've missed you. His tree was perfect. Not too hard or too soft or too slippery or too prickly. It was his own special place, quiet and peaceful. Albert's tree was crying. Wah, wailed the tree. What's going on, said Albert. You don't normally make a noise. Sniff, sniff. You smell the same. You feel the same. And you taste just the same, even upside down. What are you doing, Albert? said Rabbit. Rabbit, said Albert, my tree is crying. How can I cheer it up? Wah, wailed the tree. When I'm sad, I dig lots of holes to play in, said Rabbit. Maybe that will stop your tree from crying. So Albert and Rabbit dug lots of holes. We've dug you some holes to play in, tree, said Albert, but the tree just kept crying. It wailed. Along came Caribou. What are you doing, Albert, he said. My tree is crying. I'm trying to cheer it up, said Albert. Well, when I'm sad, I eat grass, said Caribou. So Albert and Caribou gathered lots of grass. We've brought you some grass, tree, said Albert. Please cheer up. But the tree just kept wailing. Why is your tree crying, Albert, said Squirrel. I don't know, said Albert with a sigh. The tree cried harder than ever. Please don't cry shouted Albert. Wah! wailed the tree. This noise is too much, said the others. Please stop it, tree, roared Albert. Stop crying. But at that, the tree just wailed even louder. And Albert had one last idea. He took a deep breath and climbed quietly up to his favorite branch. He wrapped his thick furry paws around the trunk and gave the tree a huge kind bear hug. He whispered in his tiniest voice, why are you crying, tree? To Albert's surprise, his tree whispered back, because I'm scared of the big hairy monster. What big hairy monster, whispered Albert. Outside, over there, said his tree. Don't worry, I'll get rid of it, said Albert bravely. Albert nervously looked high and low, outside and over there. There was no monster. There's only me here, said Albert. Oh, phew said the tree. I can come out then. Ah! Oh! screamed a tiny feathered thing. You're the monster. Ah! Oh! screamed Albert. You're the tree. I'm not a monster, said Albert. I'm Albert. And I'm not a tree, said Owl. I'm Owl. Albert and Owl laughed and laughed at their mistake. Albert was glad his tree was back to normal. He and Owl played in it all afternoon. And as he watched Owl swooping from his favorite branch, 
Albert knew that Owl loved the tree as much as he did, which he secretly decided made his tree twice as perfect as it had been before. The end. Good night. Sleep tight. Sweet dreams.